हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दृष्टि एंड आई एम आनंद फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू क्वेश्चंस ऑफ द टॉपिक मनी एंड बैंकिंग फ्रॉम आवर क्यूईटी सिलेबस फ्रेंड्स वी शैल सी द डिटेल्स ऑफ ऑल द क्वेश्चंस एंड द ऑप्शंस टू मेक द थिंग्स मोर क्लियर इन दिस कंटेक्स्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव इज अबाउट द बार्टर सिस्टम The question is, friends, barter system refers to that system wherein you see before the money evolved, the economic transactions took place by the exchange of the goods. So suppose a person A had cotton as the produce, and a person B had, for example, milk as the produce. person a wanted milk person b wanted cotton so what they would do they would exchange these items to meet their demands so this is called the barter system where there is no use of any currency or a medium of exchange the goods are exchanged for the goods this is called the barter system so friends here let's see all the options the first option is the goods are exchanged for goods this option looks correct but friends keep in mind that unless we check all the options we are not going to tick any of them so here what we have the goods are exchanged for the goods is one of the option which is correct but let's see other options the second is the goods are not exchanged friend this is wrong in the barter system the basic premise is the exchange of the goods and that is why b option is incorrect friends barter system prevailed in the era when the currency or the money had not evolved and that is why any discussion of the domestic currency and foreign currency has no meaning because it was not a time when the money or the currency had evolved and that is why c and d are wrong by default b is incorrect and that is why only option a is the correct option that we have and that is why friends in this case answer is a the second question friends we have which of the following is a typical feature of the barter system we have to see the typical feature of the barter system friends you see when we talk about a barter system we saw that a had cotton and b had say milk a typical feature and the premise is in a barter system two persons hold the commodities which are wanted by the other one so the need of b is cotton and the need of a is milk it means the want of a is met by the supply of b and the want of b is made by supply of a so this is actually called the double coincidence of wants a thing wanted by one is owned by the another and vice versa and that is why this is of course the typical feature of a barter system that's true but we have to look for other options as well so friends the first option talks about the common medium friends the common medium of exchange is something we call as a money but in the barter system the money had not evolved and that is why this is not the correct option because the money came later earlier the transactions had a barter system so barter system does not have any common medium rather the goods are exchanged for the goods only now third third is a common unit of account friend this is also a feature of a money not anyhow linked to the barter system and the last is standard for deferred payments friends again we can use money say plastic money and some other forms of money for the later payments for the deferred payments so it's not about the barter system suppose you own a credit card 
so this card gives you an option for the deferred payments it's not about barter it's about uh, money so option a c and d they talk about the money only b talks about the feature of the barter which is the typical feature that is the double coincidence of wants that is why in this case friends the answer is b and we have seen the meaning of this concept that a commodity owned by one is actually demanded by is wanted by the another and the vice versa and only then only the exchange of the commodities will take place and that is why the answer is b the third question friends we have which of the following is a commonly accepted definition of money friends money is uh, seen as a commodity as an instrument which can be used for the economic exchanges right but apart from the exchange medium money has two more functions money actually leads to see we can write here the money has three broad functions the first and the foremost is the medium of exchange second is the unit of accounting or account and third it stores a value suppose we take a gold coin we take a currency it has a value so it stores a value it is the accounting unit and it is a medium of exchange now let's see the question the question says which of the following is a commonly accepted definition of money now you see the first statement looks fine but unless we find the best one we cannot tick any one of them so any good which is commonly used as a store of value we can see this is a money but this is not the first and the foremost and the best explanation of money when we talk about the d option which says that any good which is commonly accepted as a medium of exchange this is the first and the foremost and the best appropriate definition of money so this is the right one but let's see other ones friends any good which is accepted to a bank it's not the definition of money banks is a secondary thing some monies may not be accepted by the banks as well you can't deposit the gold as a currency in the banks except in lockers so gold may be a money but gold is not accepted by a bank so c option is incorrect coming to b option any good which can be exchanged for the gold friends this is not the correct statement in the present context between 1870s to 1914 in this time frame the currency value was based upon the gold value that was called called the gold standard so we had a gold standard in which the value of a currency was backed by the value of the gold but that is not applicable right now so this is also not correct the first option we saw friends it's not an incorrect see it's not a wrong statement but it's not a correct answer so as a statement it may be correct as a answer it is wrong and that is why our answer would be only d so the best definition of money in this aspect can be seen as any instrument commodity which can be used as a medium of exchange is called money so answer is d friends the next question we have the primary function of money is so let's see what is the primary function of money friends again here we are given four statements now money can be used for the transfer of value it looks okay fine this looks okay to us 
द मेजर ऑफ वैल्यू सपोज वी हैव एनी कॉमोडिटी सो दैट वैल्यू ऑफ द कॉमोडिटी कैन बी मेजर्ड बाय मनी सो दिस ऑल्सो लुक्स फाइन टू अस मनी इज ऑल्सो द मीडियम ऑफ एक्सचेंज दैट वी नो बट सपोज वी आर टू टेक वन ऑफ द ऑप्शन विच इज द बेस्ट यू सी द डी ऑप्शन कंटेन्स बोथ बी एंड सी बिकॉज सी ट्रांसफर इज द थिंग विच कम्स लेटर इज इट नॉट वी सॉ दैट मनी हैज थ्री फंक्शन इट्स अ मीडियम ऑफ एक्सचेंज इट्स अ मीडियम ऑफ अकाउंटिंग इट्स अ मीडियम ऑफ स्टोरेज सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वॉट वी हैव the two options are the one which actually represents the real definition of money and that is why in this case the answer friends would be both b and c so answer would be friends in this case d and keep in mind the money has three functions accounting function storage function and the exchange function so they any instrument like suppose we talk about any cash currency से गोल्ड और से प्लास्टिक मनी सो दीज ऑल आर द वेरियस इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स और द वेरियस एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ मनी एंड इन आवर डिस्कशन इन द लेक्चर्स वी हैव सीन इन डिटेल अबाउट द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ मनी दैट हाउ द मनी स्टूड द टेस्ट ऑफ द टाइम दैट आफ्टर बार्टर वी शेल सी इन आवर लेक्चर्स दैट हाउ आफ्टर द बार्टर सिस्टम how the money evolved that the metallics money came to existence and the various references to metallic money is also found in arthashastra the book which was written by chandragupta maurya's maurya's prime minister kautilya or chanakya so after the barter we saw the rise of the metallic money then the currency notes or the paper money after paper money we saw the rise of the plastic money now we have the digital currency or digital money so we have a rise and a sequence of evolution of money for many ages again friends coming to the question in this case answer is d both and b and c are the right answers the last question friends we have money is accepted as a medium of exchange because of the trust between the payer and the pay which money is called the money which fits the given definition so let's see all of them one by one the first thing we have a full bodied money friends at times you take a gold coin now the gold coin is accepted by a person you pay to make a payment of say 40000 rupees so this is the money value of the gold coin any money whose money value is equal to the intrinsic value or internal value any money whose exchange value or the money value is equal to the internal value is called the full bodied money friends in this case what happens the gold itself has a internal value because of the virtue of being a precious metal so gold's own value is equal to the value at which the gold is exchanged suppose we talk take about example of a currency note you have a 2000 rupee currency note the exchange value of this note is of course rupees 2000 
बट इज दैट पीस ऑफ पेपर हैज इट्स ओन वैल्यू इक्वल टू टू थाउजेंड नो फ्रेंड द पेपर वैल्यू मे बी एट ओनली रुपीज टू द कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रिंटिंग द पेपर सो अ नोट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड विल नॉट होल्ड एनी इंटरनल वैल्यू बट ड्यू टू सम सपोर्ट फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट दैट पीस ऑफ पेपर हैज अ मनी वैल्यू ऑफ हाउ मच टू थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड दैट इज वाई it is not a currency note is not a full bodied money so in the first option we have the definition of the full bodied money this is not something which matches with the statement mentioned in the question so this is why we have seen the definition but this is not our right answer is it not coming to the credit money again a money which can be used for the deferred payments suppose we take 2 rupee note we take a 2000 rupee note this note is a promissory note that you would be getting something worth 2000 based upon that note which has a value based upon the credit friends this note does not have its own value but based upon the government's credit the note can be used to make exchanges of rupees 2000 and that is why a kind of promissory note a note or a money which can be used to make deferred payments can be called as a credit money so this is not also the definition mentioned in the question the third statement the fiat money friends you see fiat word comes from the fiat means the order of the government so any money which is money by the order of the government is called the fiat money a money which has its no value but runs as a money by the support of the government it's called a fiat money friends the rupee note is the example of the fiat money gold coin is not a fiat money because gold coin requires the support of none the government supports or not the gold coin will run as a money but a 100 rupee note is only a valuable note till the time the government supports the note and that is why in this case fiat money is not also the definition which is mentioned here friends fiduciary means trust and simply if you see the definition that any money which is based upon the trust between the payer and the pay is called the fiduciary money so in this case the d option is the right option which represents the given statement so here friends any money which is based upon the mutual trust of the payer and the pay suppose you issue a bill to a friend and the person accepts that you would be paying him the amount after due date so that payment by a money which is based upon the trust is something called the fiduciary money so in this case d is the only right option we have seen the details of the all the three money so they are not the right answers and that is why friends in this case the answer is d this was all with our discussion on this video friends we shall meet in the next video and discuss more questions of the other topics see you there keep watching thank you